Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is a beautiful Sunday. So I thought I would do a fashion video, kind of like a fashion topic video. I have just been, I don't know, I've been really rethinking a lot of my decisions, my, you know, buying decisions, what I wear and what it means to me because the last couple of months, I think I can say since the summer, like when we first moved in here, summer, I just, I'm a summer girl. I feel like I look better in the summer. I look better in summer clothes and I always get a little bit, not depressed, but just uninspired in the winter time. So I've kind of been, you know, buying things, putting them in my closet, but when it comes to getting ready in the morning, I wasn't feeling inspired, excited, and that is a big part of who I am. I have always loved to get dressed. I was the kid that laid out her clothes on the bed before school the next morning. You know, I would do it that night. I mean, lay them out, have the shoes sitting there and everything. So that's always been a big thing for me is to get excited about what I'm wearing. I kind of lost that. And so I've done some, you guys know I'm all about some self examination and I now have 18 reasons that I am feeling uninspired, 18 reasons that I'm not thrilled with what's in my closet. So this video is sponsored by Skillshare and every time I am doing a partnership with Skillshare, I try to really take a class that I am genuinely interested in so that I can give you guys my feedback, like what I have learned. And if you're not familiar with Skillshare, that is kind of like a, it's an online learning website. It has so many different things. I have taken classes on photography. I have taken classes on editing. I just did before, since last time I partnered with them and this time I have taken classes on Final Cut Pro X because I want to do some better videos and I wanted to know some different ways to do transitions and to do like B-roll and stuff like that. Um, I have taken classes on plants. I have taken classes on personal development. So there is just so many different things and it's nice to have them like as a reference. So I'm gonna put a link down below and the first 1,000 people that click on that link will get a free month of Skillshare. I took some classes on finding your, let's see what the names of them are here. Dress for Success was one of the classes that I took and it was about create your personal style, know who you are and express your personality through clothing, your personality and your character. So I've really tried to think about that because you guys know I've always, even as a child, been into fashion. I can remember just outfits from, you know, four years old, five years old, and I've always really, really enjoyed putting outfits together. But I've never really, and I know that it's important, I know what, you know, first impressions are, I know people think that it shouldn't matter what you're wearing or what you look like, but that, it's, it's just not the case. It's just not, you are going to be somewhat judged on what you look like, and that is what you're wearing, I think your facial expression, just your whole appearance and your whole aura. I took these classes and one example she gave, and I thought this was such a good example, is Legally Blonde. How Elle Woods, you know, in the beginning of the video, just looked like a character. She looked like a Barbie doll. But she was, in fact, very intelligent. So in the movie, she had to change the way she carried herself to be taken seriously. It says Elle Woods has to change her style to reflect her intelligence. Now, is that fair? No. But is it realistic? Yes. Sometimes I know that the look I have on is probably not portraying who I really am. Not very often, but I know it has happened and it feels very, very, very uncomfortable. If I am wearing something that is just totally not me, it really messes with my mojo. I'm talking about just wearing something that I saw on someone else that I thought 
I could pull off. Now, I'm not saying I'm not gonna make some of these fashion mistakes again. I'm not saying I'm not going to explore. I'm not saying I might break some of my own rules, but I am gonna try to be a lot more, I'm gonna try to have fun with it, and I'm really excited. I'm gonna do some great videos. I think that really, all in all, it's gonna be, it's gonna enhance my videos, and it's gonna enhance our relationship. It's not gonna be as much, look what I bought, look what I bought. I want to wear it, explain, show, show different ways to wear it. You guys know, all the stuff like that. Why do we need personal style? To build confidence and self-esteem, looking your best, worthy of admiration and respect. To create a great personal image that allows you to evolve in your career and personal life. And with that, she gave the example of like when you're in college, you dress as a college student, but then when you go out and start your career, Nine times out of 10, you're gonna be wearing different clothes than you wore every day in college. I mean, it's just the way it is. So I have been just, and, and she says, it's your costume, your external appearance, which should match all that you are and all that you want to be. And then I took another one this morning that was really interesting called Look Your Very Best. And we, I wrote down, these are just some of my notes. The previous girl went through the five style personalities, which I think I am the modern chic. And the one I took yesterday, it was look your very best. We want to create a balance and harmony of our inner being and our outer appearance. What is your image? You want to be authentic, highlight the best in us and feel good about it. So that is what I want to do. I want to examine my body type and I have a hard time with that. I have a really hard time with that, so you guys are gonna help me with that. I've ordered something so that we can kind of go through that, but I'm not gonna get into that today. So if you are interested in Skillshare, I'm gonna leave the link down below. There are so many different things. When I was looking up just personal style, or I mean, it was just amazing. A lot of videos on drawing and painting and gardening and sewing. So I do think it's worth a try. So remember the first thousand people that click on this link will get a free month of Skillshare. And it has to be your first time, your first you know, experience with Skillshare. Okay, so today, let's just go through fashion, I wouldn't call them fashion mistakes, things that I'm going, that I have not been doing correctly, things that I'm going to work on, and things that have made me uninspired and kind of reevaluate my fashion direction. Okay, the first thing is graphic tees. I will go in my closet and I will have all of these graphic tees that I love, but I don't wear them. So I started trying to really think about why am I not wearing these tees? This is what I wrote down. Liking what they say, what they, I like in the design, like the color, but not the cut of tee or sweatshirt that is flattering or that I enjoy wearing. This is so true with my Anina Bing. I have, I think, probably four sweatshirts from Anina Bing, and two of them I love, two of them I love what they look like, but I don't like wearing them. My Brigitte Bardot gray one, and then my tan, kind of off-white one, for some reason, they are too tight around the neck, and they just, are boofy and then go in. I just don't like the way they fit me. So look for a closet sale soon. I was gonna take everything just to the resale store, but she is full. I took a few, I say a few, I probably took about 10 pairs of shoes there yesterday, but John has said that he did not mind. I think I'm gonna get Brooke to take pictures and John to run my website and we are gonna be just doing a closet clean out. I'm not gonna sell every single thing. It's just gonna be like the more things that I think you guys would like and that I would like for someone to get at a really good price that I barely wore, like Gucci belts, Gucci shoes, things like that, and some Anina Bing sweatshirts. So that is something that I'm gonna do different. And a lot of the reason I still have those will connect to another bad decision process that I have further down the line. Okay, number two, I have not really buying clothes for my body shape. A lot of that is because I really don't know what body shape I have. I guess if I had to say it would be rectangle, 
I do have somewhat of a waistline, but it's not, it's certainly not an hourglass. It's just, I'm not sure. And you guys know I have lost weight. I, you know, I weigh about 119 now, 119, 120. Ever since I got my new scales, I did weigh 118, but it went to 119. I've kept that off now for, you know, I don't know, a year and a half. So I feel pretty confident where I am in my weight, but it did change my body. The main thing I am kind of focusing on now is I know that I have a long torso and I know that I want to look not necessarily taller because I'm not petite, I'm five foot six, but I'm mostly torso and shorter legs. So what I want to do is look taller by lengthening, lengthening my legs and maybe just making my torso look more in proportion. I think that's a, a pretty common thing is to want to look taller. So I'm having fun with that. This is probably the biggest one and this is the one that I'm kind of beating myself up about a little bit and that is pure laziness. Laziness not taking the time to do the things that make such a big difference when you are getting dressed, when you're getting ready. And a lot of that has to do with being a perfectionist, um, being in a hurry, and having so many things on my mind that just not, and probably not having the clothes that inspire me or the looks that inspire me. So what I wrote down is lazy not taking things to get hemmed, etc. which I did take those last pants to get hemmed, and I took a couple more things to get dry cleaned. So I did do that, I'm trying, trying, trying. Not tucking things in, I'm very bad about that. Everything looks better tucked in, especially if you have my body shape. But I just, sometimes I feel like, I don't know, I'm just too lazy or I feel like, uh, you know, am I gonna wanna tuck that in all day or does it really look good? I'm just, I guess I just wasn't thinking about it. Okay, not steaming. This was because I had a bad steamer. I was trying to use one of those little travel ones and it was a joke. But when I moved and I found my, that, my little steamer and they don't sell it anymore, I think it got recalled. But that sucker will make you love steaming your clothes because it is so much gratification. It just works so quickly. I love it. So now I'm like steaming everything. Not trying on different belts, etc. I think when I lost weight, I kind of got out of none of my belts fit. And then so I borrowed a belt hole puncher from Kelly Oliver and John punched my belts, but they don't look good. A belt doesn't look good if you punch a bunch of holes in it and then you've got this much hanging out. And I just don't wanna cut it off. So I think I'm gonna start from scratch with my belts. Same thing with that belt I showed you guys on Friday and everybody said, well, you can punch another hole in it. I just think it's not very smart for me to buy a belt that's too big and punch holes in it when I could just buy a belt that fits. So I'm going to do that. Not wearing tights. A lot of my dresses that I love and skirts, I don't wear because I think to myself, oh, then I'm gonna have to wear tights. And it's so, so crazy because once I start wearing tights, I love them. I love those hue tights that are that temp control. They go right on, they don't run, they're comfortable. I love wearing tights, but it's kind of like one of those things just in my mind, it will just automatically when I think about an outfit and am looking at a dress, it just cancels it out. Okay, not returning things. I wrote, I added this this morning. Because a lot of times if I order some things, Zara, that's a whole nother subject. I love, I have a love hate with Zara. And when I love it, I love it. And when I hate it, I hate it. So that's just like a different, a, Zara's in a category all its own kind of. But like yesterday, I went to Gap and I went in there and I know the girls from working there just from going in there all these years. And they told me it was 50% off the entire store. Well, I already had a pair of jeans on that I got there. I haven't showed you guys, but they fit so good. I felt so good in those jeans yesterday. So I did get another pair of those and the other wash that I liked, but I went ahead and picked up a lot of things that I had been looking at, like a little matching sweatsuit, 
some little Henley tops and things like that. Well, I tried them all on this morning and all of them I could have made work. I could have, you know, I could have made them look good, but they didn't thrill me. It wouldn't be anything that I would just, you know, I can't remember who it was that said, I don't know if it was a celebrity or somebody here on YouTube that said they only wanted to buy stuff that they couldn't wait to wear the next day. That is a good, kind of a good thing to think of. Now, you might not be able to wear it the next day, but you'll see that come into a lot of my other mistakes. So, I am going to start returning things when I am not thrilled. I am at the point in my life that I want to feel good every day. I don't want to waste one day. Getting dressed is such a thrill to me. I mean, I when I'm inspired, I just, like, I want to get dressed twice a day. I'm just so into it. It's so much fun to me. So, it's really bummed me out lately that I haven't felt that way. You know when you wake up in the morning and there's that minute that you wake up that you really don't have a thought and then you either, sometimes you, you remember something bad that happened or something that you're worried about or sometimes you think of something that's good and something that you're excited about. This morning, I actually thought about all of the clothes that I have ordered and I've purchased that are so different for me, but I have been loving so much and kind of like this new um, style evolution. I'm not going to have a totally different style. I just want to put more thought into it, more thought into what shoes I have on, what jewelry am I wearing, you know, do I want to tuck it in? Does this need a belt? Does it need a thin belt or a wide belt? You know, and just take more time and put more thought into my outfits. And I'm just looking forward to that. So I'm gonna do an outfit of the day. It's not gonna be quick because I want to kind of style this outfit with you. Today, I'm using my Canon camera. It's the one that I used when I did my um, lipstick video and I just got slayed for it being too bright. I think we all know by now, cameras are just not my thing. I'm just gonna, I hate to admit it, but so far in life, they have beat me. And a lot of times it's hard for me to see. So today I changed the settings, I hope it's better, but I do realize sometimes you cannot see the details of my outfit. So I have a photographer coming over tomorrow. I am paying her for the driving time because we live out of town. Nobody wants to drive out here to my house. So I told her I would pay her for her driving time and she is going to come out and help me with my many cameras and lenses choose what camera and what lens and what place in my house will be best for me to do some good footage, like some B-roll of my outfit so that I can talk through and not feel so rushed. Most of the time, I can't even see what you see. I can't see that my shirt's not tucked in and all of that stuff. So I think it would be better when I'm trying on my outfits to be able to edit those, go through them, and then sit down with you and explain why I did what. But for today, we're going to do it my old school style. And I'm just going to stand up and I'm just going to talk you through what I'm wearing today and today's scenario and what I hope to change. Okay, so today I have on this fabulous cashmere sweater. Okay, I will say, oh, my battery light is blinking. Hold on. So I just changed the battery. I'm gonna kind of experiment too and see if maybe there's a lot of light coming from those windows too and that might be, you know, messing us up a little bit. But anyway, cashmere. Now I see what the big deal is. Now I see. No wonder I didn't want to wear sweaters that much because they were scratchy, they were too heavy, they didn't mold to your body. Now that I feel the cashmere, I understand. So this one, of course, what does it say? Meet me in Wrightsville Beach. This is, they sell this at Oliver. They also sell it in a cream color with pink writing and I love it. These are some new jeans. I'm going to really even though they might not be what I'm used to, I'm going to experiment with more of the high-waisted jeans. These are the Mother Hover jeans, and they are, here, I'll keep these on for now so we can see. But, so this is just a boring 
outfit. It's just a sweater, jeans, and some comfortable, these are my Uggs, my little house shoes. Okay, so I was thinking, how can I make this outfit better? I don't know if I wanna tuck it in because then you would not be able to read the writing. Does that matter? I don't know. We're gonna try it both ways. So I tried just like the French tuck and I'm just not good at that unless I do the whole, I guess you could do the whole thing. So the first thing I thought of is, okay, let me try it on with a cropped jacket. That way I can still have that waistline, but still leave this out. This is a leather jacket I bought probably, I think Brooke was a baby. We went to Myrtle Beach. Okay, maybe, maybe Will was a baby. I can't remember if we went there without Will. I'm not sure. We used to go every year, two or three times a year, and do all the touristy things and stay there. And I got this at that leather shop and I love it. The only thing I don't like, and if you have a good suggestion for this, is I don't like the way that always, and I have taped it and everything. I probably just need to tack it because I'm not gonna probably wear this zipped up very much. Okay, so right away, that gives me more of a waistline. Then, I think with this, I think boots are going to be my best bet. So, I just ordered some, several pair of boots that are pointed. I think I have made, it's gonna be further down the line, a little mistake with going for the square toe trend that probably is doing me no favors. These are my rag and bone, and they do have the square toe. You can see I have worn these suckers to death. They do still have a square-ish toe, but just the fact that they tilt just that little bit and that they have a slim silhouette, it, they're not as bad. They're not as bad as those mango that I just got, which I'm not saying I don't like those mango boots. I'm just saying they were probably a style mistake for me. That is another thing. There are gonna be things that I sell to you guys or that I get rid of that maybe you'll never see again. It's not, you have to get over it. You can't keep things in your closet because they cost a lot of money. You can't keep things because you made such a bad mistake. You feel like you've got to wear it. I did that the other day with my Gucci loafers. I wore them over to my mom's and she said, oh, I love those, those they're so pretty. And I said, yeah, I said, I was kind of just wearing them today to see if I even still wanted them. And uh, she said, well, they look good, but I just hate walking in shoes like that because they're hard to keep on your feet. And I was like, you know what? They are, they are. I never have enjoyed wearing those. I do, it's like, it's like if I had to pick between those and high heels, you know, and I'm walking a, a long distance, then of course I'm gonna pick those. But is it my favorite pair of shoes to wear? No. So I think the Gucci loafers are gonna go too. I'm just ready to move on. And I just don't enjoy, I don't even think they look good on me. So there's that. So already I think this outfit looks better. Um, I do think that it would look better if it was tucked in, but if you just did not want to tuck it in, I think if you will wear, you know, a cropped jacket, it still gives you that height in your legs, and I think the boots really help a lot. So let's go for another look. I brought my blazer up here, and I just have to tell you, Okay, a couple of things. I hope this video isn't too long. One, I want you guys to tell me about some people on YouTube that I will enjoy following. I think maybe I have been led astray by my own self, by not watching the people that would probably be the best for me. And it's not about age, it's just about who I am and my life. And so I have really enjoyed watching uh, Dearly Bethany. I have enjoyed watching, um, is it Alyssa Tempo? Alyssa, Bel I, I'll put the names or their channels down below. Um, Jamari, I've always enjoyed watching her. And another lady that is 
She's younger than me, but she's in her 40s probably. And she does a lot of Parisian style and stuff too. So I've enjoyed watching them. And if you have any brands, designers that I should know about, that I have not known about, I would love to explore some new designers, some new shoes, some new jeans. That's why I think I love the AYR jeans so much. It's something new and it's something fresh and just, you know, I just, I've really enjoyed that. So now let's tuck in. These are button fly. These jeans are amazing. So let's tuck in this sweater. Okay. So I'm just looking at the monitor here. Okay. So meet me in Wrightsville. Isn't that bad? Now let's put on my oversized blazer. And let's change the shoes to a new pair of shoes. I just got these yesterday in the mail. They are so good. I'm so happy. I'm happier with them than I thought I would be. And it is these. It is the by far mules. I saw dearly Bethany wearing them and I didn't really think about it. When I saw them on her, I didn't, I wasn't immediately attracted to them. And then one day I just happened to look them up because I knew what it was. She said they sell them every year, that it's one of their basics. So I thought, oh, okay, well, I'll look them up. They must be, you know, good sellers. When I saw that they were nude patent, one of my favorite things is patent leather nude shoes. I thought that is gonna be great. So I ordered these and they are so cute. Now on a pair of shoes where your foot or your toe is showing, I don't really mind the square because it's not your foot. You just still have the length of your foot. I just love these, love these. These are gonna be so good with jeans with dresses, with cropped jeans. These are still feminine. They still give you a heel. They're still sexy, but they're very, very practical and just pretty. They're just a pretty shoe. So I'm not sure what look I'm gonna go for today. If I had to say, it might be this one. I've been enjoying tucking my shoe or my shirt in. Yes, I mean, it is amazing the difference it makes just to tuck your shirt in and i really need a belt this is kind of what i want to do is think more like when i first put this on i might not have worn it or too i want to show you this with the shape of this sweater it's going to look so good with my honey love leggings because it comes down imagine the black leggings the tall schutz boots and Hmm, maybe my regular moto that's not cropped or like a long, gosh, you know, it would look good as like a black trench or something like that. But I love how you just play with those different lengths and it makes such a big difference. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you'll stay with me and go on this little adventure. I'm really excited and I'm really it's, it's brutal. I've been cleaning out my closet and my mom's getting ready to get a big bag of stuff tonight to see if she likes. And another thing I've realized I really, really, really enjoy is just wearing, you know, I like, and I've, you know, I've always liked this. I've always liked dressing up a pair of sweatpants, you know, putting on a cool cami with a pair of wide leg black sweatpants. And I just enjoy making everything my style. So thank you for being here. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring that part of the video. And I will see you guys this week. Okay, you guys, I just cut the camera off and realized we did not even discuss what bag I was going to be carrying. Yesterday, I carried this little Mulberry Mini Alexa. Best bag. I love it. And I loved wearing it crossbody. So let's say today, I'm going to put this on got my um honey love the cami tank on 
And that's, you know, that's my bra and everything. I'm gonna tuck this in. I'm not gonna worry about if it gets a little crease in it or anything, because I'll just steam it out. Okay, and then this bag is so nice for crossbody. It is just perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, thanks again, bye-bye.